the server of kings. This is my first... <coughs> How dare you. This is my first and... Uh, probably... Only... Uh, hold on. We'll, we'll find out if this is my only stream, if uh, if this works. Alone. Um, I'm alone for good reason. Uh, it is 6 o'clock in the morning, and both my followers are um, asleep. So, I'm talking to myself. But, you know... I have a, I've had a coffee, um, I'm dressed, I don't know why I bothered getting dressed for the stream, because you can't see me, and you never will see me. So, man, I probably should have started the stream, okay, yeah, so that's a note to self, start the stream after you're in the server. Because then, you're not just... Oh, okay, there we are. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Let's, let's do this, okay. Hello, and welcome to... Yeah, let's not do that again. Um... Right. So, um, if you... No one probably saw it, but, um, the last, last time we were here, um, we killed the Ender Dragon. Well, I say we, some people with a lot of advanced tech killed the Ender Dragon. And I, uh, sort of watched from the sidelines. Um, because, well, let's just face facts. I had a stone, I didn't even have stone tools. I just had, um, what do you call it? But what, what what I think what I think we need to expand into right is Gandhi Labs because Gandhi Labs I think no one's ever heard of it because well in fairness it doesn't really exist. Um, but yeah, uh, don't know what I'm gonna really do. I guess I'm gonna. Chop down a bunch of trees. Have a look at those knees. Try not to say anything racist while I'm alone. Jesus! Ah, okay. So yeah, um... There are people on the server that already have jetpacks, like the computer systems, like the enemy computer systems, and they already have killed the Ender Dragon. But I figure, you know what? Jesus Christ, that's loud. Okay, that's, that's, <laughs> that just blew my eardrums up. Also, um, yeah, I, I was I was watching. I was watching the old, uh, the streams on other people's servers and realized how much of a loudmouth I am, so, uh, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on being very, very calm. Not yelling about turds, or having them stolen. Even though, Cam did steal my turds. Um, anyway. Ooh. Okay, so the armada still... Stands strong in the harbour of Swamp Village. Um, we are approaching Gandhi Labs. Just to... Uh, uh, so, do you know what's happened, right? So, I watched a video from Ted Ed. About, um... <laughs> about... About, uh, those things. Um, uh, and you know, the, like, the filler words. And, um, now I constantly hear it. So don't watch that video if you don't want to hear every little, um, uh, uh, uh apparently they're different, which is quite strange, to me at least, in the English speaking world, because, you know, I'm an English speaker, I expect everyone to speak English. 
Not really. I, I don't really care. Um, don't really like. <laughs> to be honest with you, don't really like people. Um. Hmm. So, I'm guessing they've probably tapped this area dry. Like, I, I can't imagine with all the hours that they've probably spent on this, instead of interacting with um. With, uh, with people, like, uh, much like me, and I assume anyone who's watching this at 6 in the morning, um, well, maybe you're not watching this, maybe I'm just talking, I am talking to myself, so, don't worry about it, I can say whatever I want here, I hate that Cam has only given me pumpkin slices, I hate pumpkin, especially raw pumpkin, because I watched the stream, how he prepared these, he didn't cook them, so I'm currently chowing down on cooked, uh, uncooked pumpkin. Which I don't know if you've ever tried to bite into a raw pumpkin, but put it this way. You don't do it twice. Maybe thrice, but not twice. What the fuck am I talking about? Anyway, um, so... From what I understand, I think our first priority should be a wind turbine that generator. So, so uh, if I remember my um, my mechanism right, oh okay. Oh, they've got cool new designs for things. Okay, so we need osmium, iron. I think that's osmium. Yeah, it is. Um, redstone, gold, and a lot of redstone. Okay. So, I think, is that bedrock? No. This is a shit mine cam. You, you did a terrible job with this. Oh. Oh. It's through here. Yeah. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna do what I would usually do and just talk to myself. Um. It's been a interesting. I, it was a lot of fun, I have to admit, to uh, to be in this streaming community, and that was my first stream. Honestly, I was doing it just to get into um, just to get into uh, Cam's pants, but uh, that's not important right now. What is important is that skeleton's going to kill me and everyone I love, which is me. So. Ooh. Okay, that looks like a pool of water, but it, but if if I know mods, oh no, it's a pool of water. All right, skeleton. Oh shit, no good at this. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's never a good sign that there's. Oh, okay, good start. Yeah. I'm, you know, Minecraft purist. Um, I believe Minecraft should only be played the way I want it to be played, uh, which is building bidets, apparently. Um, <coughs> oh dear. It's a. Yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, uh! Jack! Bad Jack! I should, oh, that'd be awesome if you could do, like, an alert for, like, stream, for, like, unfollowing. Because then it would just be Jag unfollowing and following over and over. Talking to myself, talking to myself. I'm assuming, Jag, you've messaged me something and I haven't seen it. Actually, Jag, that's another good question. Why are you awake? This is... Do you have to go to work or something? Or is... Uh, um, I don't know what should I call it. Because um, I, 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 I was talking to my um, parents about you. Because you're my only friend. Um, <coughs> and they were like, okay, but 
what's his what's his girlfriend called? And I'm like, oh, princess. And they're like, you call her princess. You call another guy's girlfriend princess. And I'm like, yeah. Why wouldn't I? Gee, I wonder. Anyway, I'm assuming Jag's just... So if you don't know who Jag is, right, and you probably won't ever because, um, I don't want to get anyone banned, uh, and I don't want Jag to unleash his unholiness on the world, but, um, basically, well, I'll just take you on a little history lesson here. Back in the 1940s, Jag and I were, you know, out patrolling the streets of, uh, I believe it was Tokyo. Actually, wait. No, I've gotten... See, like, even though I, 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 I try my best to be a, a historian, it just doesn't work. Do you know why? Because I'm a racist. It doesn't... It, it's the one bane of a historian, is if they're racist. Because then you can't do history properly. I should avoid talking about politics. That's what Cam told me. Because if I talk about politics, I, I alienate my 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 uh, non-existent fan base. Um, but the good news is now I have three followers. So. In a way, I'm, I'm, I know, I may know all three of them, and I've met, I think, two of them? Basically, what I'm saying is, if you're in a CSGO match, right, and you hear a guy who isn't just shouting profanities and, like, telling you to, uh, do bad things to yourself friend them and put them in your discord server and you know have fun and connect with them because sometimes they'll be really good guys like cam sometimes they'll be really bad guys like lachlan sometimes they'll be in between guys like uh atelius atelius doesn't stream anymore but maybe he will if we if we get his like you know his bait we need like a base for him and for me me first because you know I'm older and deserve more because of that fact. Um, how did I miss that? Wait, is this not the hole I was in? I feel like I would have noticed some gold. I was going to make a joke about being 3% Jewish. Should, is it appropriate? I don't think it is. No, I think we should, I think we should avoid Jew jokes just because people don't know that, uh, what, okay, yeah, this is, I think I'm in the catacombs of Cam's old base, yeah, this is not good, no, no, this is, this is, uh, uh, uh. I have, um, so, just talking to no one, really, but, if you ever get the chance to, to watch, like, Vladimir Putin, like if you watch his interviews, right? He does that. He does that the same thing with like the like he 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 sort of groans when he talks, and it's extremely. Oh yeah, so I've just been messaged by Prince by uh by um by uh, Jag's girlfriend, Princess, saying, Seven, I have seven lizards. Gandhi, you're a idiot. You're so gay. Now, I will address that in two, three parts. It is, you are an idiot, and you are so gay. And also, gay isn't an insult, because in my heart, I know no one will ever truly love me. Right. Where is... That doesn't seem right. Where... 
Oh, is it through here? Yes, it is through here. Okay. See, Princess and I have a weird dynamic because we're both sharing Jag, but she doesn't seem to see it that way. Um, you know, personally, I think if she just, you know, this should be interesting. Yeah. I feel like, um, oh, is there a radio? Well, that was easy. Zinc, useful. Iron looks a little pinker. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, this is this is what happens when um, is that gold? Oh my! Oh yes. Yeah. Ah. Oh no. I get the feeling Princess and Jag might be watching. You stole my boyfriend. Bros don't come on stream. Right. Um. I. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop reading that before you say something. That. Uh, If anyone wants to know where they live, uh, <laughs> no one's listening. Don't worry. It's just us guys. You can tell me. Tell me anything. Yeah, I was asking about the lizards because, okay, so they, they have lizards. And I didn't know how many, and I was trying to impress a girl with my friend's lizards. Because, you know, I've got so much going for me. Jack doesn't play Minecraft, and, you know, it makes me sad, because he'd be really good at it, because he's good at tedious shit. Um, like arguing on Facebook about, with people who clearly have no, uh, connection to their, I don't know, what processes rational thought? Well, whatever it is, they don't have a connection to it. Is it Tinkers in this? all my deaths. You know, it just occurred to me, I probably could have just gone and robbed a bunch of people. But, you know, as my good old friend, um, Ronald Reagan would say, I need to lift myself up by my bootstraps. Don't worry that that metaphor originally... Metaphor? No. That's not a metaphor. That saying, or that idiom, originally meant something impossible because you can't lift yourself up by your bootstraps because that's not how gravity works? I don't know. It's interesting though. Oh, I... Anyone wondering what happened there? I uh, forgot I turned all my coal into torches that I ended up not using that much. Um, but don't worry. One small raid on this small village, accompanied by uh, my band of trusty serial killers. Oh dear. Don't worry, no one will ever see this. Um, I think this is Cam stuff anyway, and I'm robbing Cam, so it doesn't... Ooh, pants? Yeah. 
That's the crossbow he used to shoot um, that guy in the butt. Oh, we can burn those. Oh, we can burn that as well. What else can we burn? We can burn that. We can burn that. Why do they... I never understood that. Why do people keep the wooden tools? It's such a waste of inventory space. But then again... Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa! Where did that iron go? And again, I've never really known Cam to be a man of ration rationalism. He's more a man of, um... Was he a man? I'm not, I'm not saying as in, like, is he male? He's definitely male, but... Is he... An adult? My feeling is no. Oh my god, you can... Oh, that looks so disgusting! What does it look like? They told me to look out for crocodiles, and I haven't seen a single one. So I'm assuming at some point I'm just going to turn around... God damn it. I'm just going to turn around and there's going to be like... Oh, right. So first we'll burn all their wooden tools. To get rid of all their dumb shit. Um, I don't think we'll burn the wooden boat yet. Just because it could be useful at some point. I don't know what for, but, you know, I've, I've got a good feeling about it. Okay, so, what I will do is make a few crafting tables, because that's how I operate. And then we'll put them on the roof. Yep. You're a smooth operator. Gee, oh wait, no, you have to do, you do that with the tinkers. Oh, shit. You can't do what I used to be able to do with the tinkers. Ah, well. Need to load your confuser. Oh, cool. Ah, but we need an intermediate power source, which will be a sterling engine, or something like that. No? No sterling engine? Okay. Uh, coal. Alright, let's try generator. Um, biogas burning generator. Well, yeah, Copper, wood, okay, so we just need copper. Oh, I have copper on my... Ah, oh, shit. How many fences do we use? Let's just take, just take some of these fences. Just. We're currently using the power of fences. Um, Oh, Princess has sent me more. No, I don't want 69 cans of beans. I will kill you if I get another delivery of 69 cans of beans. But I did like the half of duck. Die, die, die. As you can see, I, I, I run with a really kind crowd. Um, they, uh, they, they're uplifting. Um, they raise me up. Oh yeah, you can just plug it in. Yeah. Cable. Ugh! You dick! Wait, please. Oh, you dick. Hit steel. Enriched. Oh, okay, yeah. So we're gonna need to make... Hold on. How do I get... Huh. Okay. Cable? Yeah, let's see if there's like a easier cable to get. Network cable, cable. Energy. This is the issue with not having tinkers, because now I can't make steel through um, tinkers and then just convert the. That does not look like starter cable. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, I'll be honest, the universal cable is probably easier to get right now. If I go rob people. Okay. There must be some way of making steel. Oh, 
without requiring steel. Would be the ideal thing. Um, to blast furnace. Okay, I don't want anything there. No, I, I, <laughs> no, I would prefer to know how to make the blast furnace. Crude blast furnace. How do you make that? Okay, you. It's a building thing. Alright, well, maybe I can just borrow a little bit of universal cable, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll all go well. I don't know. Uh, yeah, well maybe someone has some steel I can borrow, and then I can repay them with steel because um, that's what I need the signs for. I need to say I owe you one, two steel. Steel? God damn. Um, well, steel's in... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> So dumb. Okay. Peeps humble abode. Just like a tiny bit of steel. No, they've only got cool stuff. Okay. Right. How long? Um. I know. Cam showed me in here. Which was interesting. It's like a demonic. Yeah. Like I could have stolen so much stuff that would have actually made this five times easier. Well, maybe not five times. Ooh. <laughs> Someone's been a bad boy. Um, I'd like to apologize for that remark I just made. Uh, it's inappropriate. Okay, let's just make two steel. Oh, that's, that's burning a little bit of power. Right, there we go. <sighs> anyway. Race relations in Asia. Interesting. 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 Okay, now I'm just hearing myself say interesting. Let me not just mute that. Um Oh, Oh, Jake, you were talking in the chat. You want that schween. I don't have more than Cam. Cam is like 600. Cam's good at Cam's good at streaming. Uh-oh, uh chum. Take my wood back. Oh, no. Now I'm getting trapped into looking at my other screen. Don't look at the other screen, even though there's pretty colors on that side. Do I have a stream schedule? Jag. That would be a professional thing to do. Does this look like it's professional? If you're even still here. It's probably just me watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me. Oh shit, we're going for 30 minutes. Oh shit. <laughs> the sun's up! Um... So this is what happens, right, when you need to leave at 9 o'clock, but think, well, you know, I should probably do something in that time, but I promised myself I wouldn't do anything to do with, like, writing or anything, so, because last, yesterday or some, no, it was, it was some day, 
I spent like 45 minutes or something, like something inappropriate on, no, no, not 45, sorry, like four hours on, um, on my writing, and it was, it was a bad idea, um, my bones are not suited for that sort of thing. Um, I think I, sp yeah, I think it is, um, I mean, we could, I could try some of my pigeon German, I, would, <laughs> I don't think, yeah, I think this will stay, uh, as an English stream, because that would require me learning a lot more than, uh, I currently care, would care to. Getting killed by a flying banshee. Alright, All right, where are you, prick? Okay, we'll just go. Um. Yeah. Are you serious? It didn't even process one. Ah! God damn it! I messed up my drawers. We're gonna need a lot more wood. Quickly. Start burning stuff. I feel like, yeah. I should probably not reference the Nazis like I was just about to. Because I was gonna... I, and it's not what you're thinking. It's not what you're thinking. Because that would be inappropriate. It, it's when, like... It's the scene in, um... Der Untergang, which is a German film that where the, um... Where the Hitler thing, you know, the him yelling at his generals comes from, and it's basically the scene is so there's this doctor like in, so you know this is it's, so it's set during the Battle of Berlin when like the war's over, it's over, there's no coming back, and Hit but Hitler's like convinced himself because of course you would because you know you don't want to face the fact that you're dead basically. Like, hit, yeah, at that point, there's no escape for Hitler. Now, you can say that he escaped Argentina. But, okay, so it took me exactly 32 minutes to start talking about Hitler. Um, interesting, interesting dilemma. Uh, how often will I talk about Hitler? Not, um, look, 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 as you know, mahogany probably is expensive, um. Look, um, I'm not affiliated with any party, mainly because they don't want me. Um, I showed up to the Labour Party conference. They uh, kicked me out because I made too many remarks about annexing Australia. Uh, I went to the National Convention. These are all parties in New Zealand, by the way. Um, and uh, they kicked me out because I... Uh, well, I said we should nationalise all industries, and they said that's commie shit, and I said, no, that's just a good idea, and they said, no, it's not, it, it never works, and, you know, I'm inclined to agree with them, but I'm also a bit of a, someone who likes chaos, so, um, yeah, that, so that's, and then ACT wouldn't let me in, because Lachlan, but, uh, Lachlan's this racist guy that I play games with, even though I'm Polynesian myself, and even though he is sort of like a, the epitome of the alt-right, I guess, if, if you like to think about stuff like that. Anyway. Um, oh, drift. Actually, drift. Would driftwood burn? Because I'd have to dry it out. Or is this Minecraft and I shouldn't have put that much thought into it. Hey, baby! Don't say anything bad! Of course not! Yay! Alright. So, Jack, let's talk about Hitler. No, um... <laughs> Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi! That is all. 
No, it's good good to see you streaming again. Again? I I can't help but notice, uh you you haven't been talking to anyone. Uh what do you mean? There's no one watching. Yeah, I know. Okay, good. I'm I'm glad you know. <sighs> How dare you allude to that? Now as well, um, probably want to turn the gain up on your microphone because you're trying to set the max volume. Um, unless you're talking really quietly, because like mine is, you know, like my sound system was on full and kind of quiet. Um, I'm not as uh, you know rough as you are. You need some sort of Twitch chat integration. Yeah, probably. I, I saw that alerted you that I was following you. That's great. Um, I saw that it didn't tell you twice, which is even better. Because I did unfollow, then refollow, to see if it does it again. <laughs> it doesn't. You son of a bitch. I'm, I'm just stress testing your uh, your streaming setup here. Um, <laughs> what is this? You, have no, you better have no way of reading Twitch chat in-game. I have now. Oh, in game, no. Well, while playing, you should be able to read your Twitch chat to talk to your One fans. <laughs> it's cool. You've got that. three. I've got three, and I know all three of them. Right. Because, because naturally, I try to talk to you there first. Right. Um, and lastly, make sure you never go. You have to have some sort of delay because you don't want to go live with me, right? In case I say something like. Right, yeah. That, that, like, if you said something like that, that would be awful. I, yeah. Honestly, I can't believe... You'd probably lose your Twitch. Like, instantly, yeah. I'd, yeah. No, no. Even though it's not your fault. Yeah, even though you said... It's not your fault. <laughs> Don't you do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh... do, you like, do you like the part where I just steal copious amounts of resources from people? <laughs> I saw you nick his iron. Uh, what else? Mm, yeah, then, then I went and dropped off Princess. Ah. We <laughs> then, I, then I came back. Well, Do you call someone else's girlfriend Princess? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was an awkward thing, uh, conversation I had with my parents was just, oh yeah, Princess, she's Jake's girlfriend. <laughs> right, so why are you calling her Princess? <laughs> uh... Um, oh, I should probably introduce myself to um the team here. Um, <laughs> I'm. Uh, you might recognise me from. No, 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 no. A few no, no, of his no, videos. No, um, no videos. There are no videos, Jig. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no. You don't have a YouTube channel anymore. No, no there's no YouTube channel. Oh. Um, you might recognise me from someone else's YouTube channel. Or you might uh, recognise it now. <laughs> Um, if you've ever heard any, I, I did voice acting for a story about Cam, um, you can Cam find that online, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, um, Jag's a, a wannabe voice actor, he's, uh, he's quite good, he does an amazing Marlon Brando impression. It's true. <laughs> yeah, you do, eh? Yep. <laughs> you wanna... I can do lots of um, impressions, you know, lots of accents. Um, some say most of them quite offensive. <laughs> some say he does a constant British accent. Uh <laughs> yeah, some do say that, and it really bothers me. Oh, you jiggy bothered! Oh, it's my voice, <laughs> and I'm not British. <laughs> I had that all the time in American Samoa, they constantly were like, why do you have a British accent? I'm like, no, this isn't a British accent. <laughs> this is the furthest thing from a British accent. This is a New Zealand accent. Literally the furthest. They're <laughs> Antipodian. <laughs> I couldn't be further away from me. <laughs> no, but, you know. True that, yeah. blood. <laughs> All four bloods. 
You know what they say about bloods? No, I... So you you do I, know, so I don't need to repeat it here. So, what What I was saying... <laughs> you're gonna get attacked by the mob if this ever... If anyone ever sees this, you're getting fucking ganked. No, they, they say good things. I mean, I, I don't know why you'd assume otherwise. Well, I hear if you're married to the mob. Unless you're the other side, in which case they say bad things, like, obviously. <laughs> Unless you're a... Uh, what, what, what's the other thing? Crips. Crips, Crips, yeah. Uh, I only know that from South Park, because they did that episode where they th where the disabled children think that the Crips are like a... Oh, the cripples? Yeah. <laughs> and they start a fucking gang war. Oh, man. Hello, future viewers. Um, we're referencing South Park. This is not personally held beliefs. Um, <laughs> what I prefer to do, what I prefer to do, Jag, is I get myself in a lot of trouble early mm -hmm. on, so that it's not a surprise when I say something like do that. Do you have an arrow in your head? Yes. Cool. Just checking. And um, in Minecraft. Oh yes. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you with a stick when this is over. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, well, uh, uh, funny Gandhi. Uh, <laughs> so, as I asked in your Twitch chat, um, do you have a stream schedule? No, <laughs> no, no. That's no. That would require me to have some sort of a following before I would do something like that. Or maybe mm -hmm. not. I don't know, Jag. I, I don't know. This is just something Cam talked me into. I wanted to play on the server, and he was like, well, you have to stream to be on the server. I'm like, well, or you can make YouTube videos. I'm like, well, I'm not good at that, so... <laughs> One of them requires less effort. Yeah, shut up! <laughs> I had to talk to myself for 30 minutes. <laughs> Do you know how, of an, how much of an arsehole I am? Well, b even before I followed and you knew I was here, like, I heard you saying, I wish Jag played Minecraft with me, it's so lonely. So, yeah, I imagine it's terrible if you want me to play with you. <laughs> That's piranhas? You're a piranha. <laughs> this is the high, this is the high level content I wanted from you, Jag. Is the, are those piranhas? You're a piranha. <laughs> exactly. No, so they they had me join in on one of their events with like the um with uh what do you call it? Um they killed the Ender Dragon on my first day. Oh. And so I had a wood stick and So I you just... you've peaks. <laughs> I went in with a wood stick and just attacked the Ender Dragon and then died. And then I made a bidet and Cam kept stealing all my turds. Oh no, he's a turd burglar. I know, that's what I said. And no one understood it. <laughs> what do you I mean no one understood? He was stealing your poops. <laughs> he was stealing my poops. It's just, you know, it's a it's a disgusting dynamic. Fair there's, enough, fair enough. There's a lot of strange people in the server, right? There's people who don't constantly scream the N-word while playing video games. So, will you be streaming anything else? Yeah, uh, I think we'll do Valheim. Um, Does the pointy fingers together thing is for me? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might do Valheim um, actually. Yeah, do you want to do Valheim? Because I think I'll do I'll do some more of this with Cam later. So, my problem right now is I am naked. Way, way naked. <laughs> no. Uh, way behind on my Counter-Strike missions. Oh. <laughs> well, there were new missions, like, five days ago. I don't want to fall behind too far. Okay. Now, if you don't want to do it with me, that's fine. You, you, you go do them. But you know there's rewards when you complete missions, right? Yeah, but I also hate CSGO. Um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the skin's candy. If you get enough skins, you'll be good at the game. <laughs> I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. 
The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. No, um... <laughs> Should I just burn one? Oh, yeah, so they, they <laughs> It's a song, me... viewers, it's a song. They told me... They Tears for Fears. Me, they told me uh, 20 boats, and they were joking, but I made them anyway. And now we have an armada of boats. Good. So, you know, if anyone misses the swamp village, they've got a whole navy to get through. Oh. Uh, right, I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. See what? Let me see it again. <laughs> I thought that was Cam's chest. <laughs> was it? Is his chest? I, th I think we're going to need to go mining, uh, g get some wood and uh, replace... I think we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> uh, I hit you in the face with an axe next time I see you. <laughs> That would not surprise ah, me. Hey, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who just walked in? <laughs> no, no. Have a look. The chest thing? <laughs> That's some good stuff in there. <laughs> there really is. No, I'm, now, looking, I'm looking for something to power my. Uh... Yeah, I'll take that. Damn. Now, Gandhi. Oh, oh, doors! I'm still in the doors. Ooh. Before you write off, um. Counter-Strike entirely. Can I tell you what the missions are for this week? Okay. okay. Um, there's some Broken Fang Premiere. There's some Competitive Cash. Nothing too exciting there. Scout Kills in Dust 2. Ugh. Guardian. Guardian? Um, oh, no. Not, oh, no. Oh. The thing is, no one else will do Guardian with me is the problem there. But there is something that I think you would like. Uh, the enemy of my enemy is a chicken. Get chicken kills in deathmatch. So, all those posers who, like, try to take the colonel from me, like you, are going to be, like, out there trying to, like... You, you'll, you'll go to play, and it'll just be people killing chickens. And, and you have to kill like chickens, people. too. It's... Because we're assholes. It's actually a contest to kill the most chickens. It's like... <laughs> you've been training your whole life for this. So, for the future viewers, who come back and go, Wow, I can't believe this is where it all started. And they're wrong, because there was a stream that didn't get recorded. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is... This is a we thing... don't talk did. about that stream. Oh, God. No, no, Anne's, um... Firmly asleep, because... So we were at a party and they were drinking heavily while I was watching um, on the sidelines, cheering. Say she on. sleeps firmly. What would that even? Anyway, carry on. <laughs> firmly asleep. Um, mm -hmm. Ow, my butt. Uh, so she, yeah. So she was. So we. They wanted me to. So yeah. Okay. So the, okay. So. There was beer pong, right? I told you about this. We were... Yes! I 2 v one beer pong and won. With yep. three or four cups on my side. Still full. Remaining, so yep. Had, so they had to drink all that. But then I was like, okay, that was that was fun. And then we did it again. And they're like, oh no, I have to drink beer. This is not what I planned. <laughs> and you're like... Good point, this is stupid. Yeah, anyway. But I won, so... That's what matters. That's what matters, and I'm not. I don't win often in life. Aww. Except when I won you. Aww. In your heart, which I immediately broke by dating a series of German women. Um. Well, what can I say? Uh. That you're welcome. Won't get your Twitch thing removed. What can I say except something polite? I mean, look, the thing is, right, if you're going to say something racist, at least have an audience before you do it. Because then it then at least, I mean, that's not my master plan or anything. Like, there's not, there's not like a, uh, there's not like a whole file in my file cabinet marked master plan to destroy everything on Twitch. But like, if I was 
some sort of person who wanted to achieve fame just to blow it all away so that I could say I was a somebody. Um, it, Hypothetically. That would, be, that would be my plan. Like, what's the point of getting this account banned? What's the point? There's no point. There's a whole three people following me. And two of them are your mother. And two of them are my mother. One of them is my mother. <laughs> you know. Wait, Gandhi. <laughs> uh, no, I think <laughs> two of them are my mother. Oh god. No, so what I was doing, so I've seen this. It's a lot. funny because I follow your mother. You follow her baking channel? She's online? <laughs> oh no! This is the quality content you can expect from Gandhi's... No, no uh, don't do that! What is... <laughs> you know we won't be able to replicate this again! <laughs> Oh, my bad. This is the only time I'll ever be funny. Oh, God. Nah, Jack. You need to you need to learn to be cool. You need to be like... You know, Cam's got his whole thing where he's like, Oh, yeah. I'm just relaxed and I'm like not yelling and screaming about poop. Cam has a thing? Cam has 600 followers. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, they're from Geometry Dash, so it's, you know, you know, the quality of them may be a little, um, I'm kidding, mm. I'll take anyone, please, uh, no, <laughs> please. Isn't that how you go? The benefit oh. of paying me enough. Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to make a joke about failing relationships, but <laughs> I'm in no position to speak. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Andy, I think I made a boo boo. Yeah, what's wrong? I bought her some Coca Cola. Wait, like white Coca Cola or just. No, no, can cans of Coca Cola. Oh, okay. So what's Coca Cola? Is it just Coca Cola or? Yes. And why would that be a mistake? Is it because she's a high value child? No, I got the sugar free one and everything. Mm -hmm. So what's the problem? Uh, let me find the can and I'll s I'll send you a picture. <sighs> this is gonna be great content. <sighs> I mean, it's always been once said. Content. <laughs> Wait, where the f- I'll have to describe it because I don't know how to get the picture up on the screen. Right. Um... Oh no! The skeleton's gonna kill me! I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. Something... Something, about... something, I'm inside you there. Um... Candy, you're streaming. Something, something dark, something, something, something complete. So this was just the top box on a pile of boxes at the local supermarket. Okay, let me have a look. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, okay, so I'll have to explain that because I don't know how to get everything on, I don't know how to get pictures on stream because... I don't know if you know this, Jake, but I'm not actually a professional streamer. Do you get paid? No. Then you're not a professional streamer, are you? No, that's... What I don't know why you'd say that you are. <laughs> I hate you. Um, so, <laughs> join the club, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, actually, that's something I should plug. Uh, <laughs> the club! <laughs> There's a club, so... I don't know exactly what's going to happen with the streaming thing, but I do know there is a club... That hates Jag. So if you hate Jag so much that you want to make a, you want to join a club <laughs> just from this, just from this, um, or from that thing he's going to do in the future. Um, so we, 
we we made a club on Steam. It's called the We Hate Jag Club, uh, and with the in-game the game tag uh, Jag sucks, which is an amazing clan tag. Um, so join that clan. It's um, not posted anywhere, but um, it's you'll a, find it. It's a great club because what it is is it's just a bunch of guys declaring their hatred for Jag. And don't worry, they're all Jag's friends and family. Um, because, you know, they're severely autistic. Um, and hard to live with. Um, I should know. I married him. Worst seven years of my life. <laughs> yeah? Well... You but Summer in the Middle was a decent three weeks, so, like, eh. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, right, the picture. Okay, so, so, Jag, do you want to explain what the background to that picture is? Um, so, Coca-Cola currently have a thing where you share a Coke with, and it'll say, like, Cozzy, or Bro, or Homie, or... Um, mistress, or you know, something like that. Um, and I found a box that says share a Coke with, and it has two options. One says wifey, which is a weird local way of saying wife, and the other one says princess. Now, that's pretty much it, um, because. Yeah, it's, the the idea is that princess is my wifey. Well, and, and so you know, all of you wondering, who is princess? Does she actually exist? She may, but here's the, you'll... <laughs> there is still debate about that to this day. <laughs> I've met her, uh, <laughs> but but there is still debate. There is still debate. Yeah, so anyway, after so after that party, she's uh, Anna's thoroughly smashed. Um, mm -hmm. You she... beat her up, yep. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! She beat me up, and you know yeah, it. Yeah, I know, I know. You wouldn't be able to beat her up if you tried. Oh. And you did try. <laughs> That's why she beat me up. Oh my god, what are we doing? <laughs> you broke your kneecaps. She broke me fucking kneecaps. It's okay, Gandhi. No one's going to see this. Oh, good. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. So, do you know what I discovered, right? Watching Cam's stream. You don't have to be good to get followers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Cam. You know I love you. I don't love him. No one loves him. Even his own mother... Vomited when she gave birth. When she saw him, usually you poop yourself when you give birth. She vomited. I'd like to apologise to Ken for Jag's remarks, um, as he is one of the three followers. Uh, oh, know. well, do you put these on VOD? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Ken. Me apologies, yeah. You know we're joking. We love you. And do you know why we love you? Because it's got followers. No. Because of Campbell's Soup. Mmm! Campbell's Soup! Sponsored it's soup by, by Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> Campbell's Soup. Do you like soup? No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be the best ad ever. Do you like soup? No? <laughs> well, we got a disappointment for you. <laughs> Which would be the case even if you were. <laughs> Sponsored by the good people at Campbell Soup. I wonder if you can get cigarette um, sponsorships on Twitter. Because I, I would love to be the only one making fucking cigarette like <laughs> Sponsored by the good people at Marlboro Soup. <laughs> Sponsored by the good people <laughs> at, uh, uh, at Newport Cigarettes. 
the finest cigarettes in the world. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just like smoking them and like, in the break, I'm just going. Mm, that's smooth. There's no smoother smoke than a new port. <laughs> Which is actually a thing I hear that happens when you, if you smoke for the first time, is you vomit from the... No. Oh yeah, no, if it's your first time, you'll probably vom. Oh. But, but it's worth it, because you'll look so cool. <laughs> oh my god. We're not going to be able to do this, Jack. We're going to get in so much trouble. If there anyone ever watches this, they're just going to be like, Oh my god. They used to be so edgy before they got bought by a network. Huh, you think you'll get bought? Yeah, I hope so. And then I'm going to... Is that your exit strategy? My, that's my exit strategy is I'm going to get this this up to a lot of followers, make a YouTube channel about writing, and then abandon this immediately as soon as the YouTube one starts doing well. Um, I mean, uh, I'm here forever, guys. Yeah. All four of you watching. Wait, four. Two. Sorry. What? Uh, Jesus I'm, Christ, my, you scared me. My eyes confused then. Sorry. See, I've got bad eyesight because I spent all my uh, univer uh, my uh, high school days uh, playing video games. Sucking penises. W Clean off! Uh, uh, I'll just take a quick break and uh, this word from the good people at Chester Nut Finger Nuts. Jack, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Chester Nut Finger Nuts! <laughs> the finest in uh, nation's finger nuts. Nuts. <laughs> Nuts. Nerds to you, Point Dexter. What? Um, oh, God. What's it called? Uh, Atomic Disassembler. That's it. Yeah, so, if you insist. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, do you remember in, like, the early Simpsons? No worries, mate. Do you remember in the... <laughs> Sorry, this guy on Counter-Strike was telling me to do something which... If I repeat, I'd probably get you banned from stream. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, so classic Counter-Strike. So yeah. And so I was like, yeah, right. I was like, no, no, but I actually do. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm, I, I'm, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, I'll do it. At some point. <laughs> <It's>, uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Not before you, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's inevitable. Yeah, I'll take him out first. <laughs> oh god, what am I doing? Why am I streaming? This is such a bad idea. Cam was right the first time, why am I doing this? this no, no, when idea. I said take him out, I was talking about, like, to dinner. Oh, to, so, like, like, a nice seafood dinner, and, like... Well, you don't like seafood, do you? And then I'll never call him again! <laughs> <laughs> that was my joke for such a long time. It's just the idea of me taking your mother out for a nice seafood dinner kissing her politely on the cheek and then like never calling her again because it seems like the ultimate power play just like be the nicest guy ever and then just never call back that's because it is the ultimate power play Oops. <laughs> almost as much of a power play as breaking up with someone while on the same couch via text <sighs> <laughs> that is both a power play and something that no one would ever do. Don't be silly. <laughs> yeah, no one. Yeah, no one. No one ever will, no one ever has, no one ever... Uh, wears I don't pants. know. What are you wearing? <laughs> no, no, no one ever wears pants. There we go. Okay. I mean, if you insist. I mean, like, so... What, Jake? I know your opinion on pants. I know you're morally opposed to pants. But is there a, are there any circumstances that people should wear pants, like in the case of rape or incest? Uh, there are circumstances where one should wear pants. Okay, and that would be. Well, not not rape or incest, no. 
when, when working with like, um, yeah, if you like glass blowing. Glass blowing? Yeah, like if you're glass blowing, you should probably wear pants. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, I see. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, not not like doing sexual things with glass. Sexual. What was that? <laughs> Stephen Fry came out of nowhere. <laughs> Stephen, welcome to the program. <laughs> I miss you on QI. I, I, I like Sandy Toxvig, but you were a lot better. What? You don't like Sandy Toxvig. Yes, I do. Oh, she's pretty good. Like She's like one of the only people who could actually replace Stephen Fry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, the other one being, um, is it Sue Perkins? Is that her name? Uh, could she? And that she's like one of the few people who's a polymath to the extent that he was, yeah. Okay. okay. I, I, I polymath watched, and polygloss. I haven't watched much Sue Perkins actually, so I probably shouldn't have commented there. Um, she is incredibly smart. Okay. Does she have a PhD? <laughs> I have no doubt. I haven't checked. I'm going to say yes. Do you know what? That's still the funniest thing I've ever seen is that Big Bang theory thing where they where that guy asked her like D is it weird when people think you're smart which is also the <laughs> dumbest thing to ask i'm them. a neurologist <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but like off the show do people think you're smart so people think you can do like calculus in your head <laughs> yes i can <laughs> so dumb Just... Um, let's see, Sue Perkins is a, she was a conductor for the London Lesbian Gay Symphony Orchestra. Okay. Yeah. She conducted the BBC Concert Orchestra. Um, she was a judge for the Man Booker Prize. Which is a... A very prestigious book prize. Oh, okay. Um, she has written award-winning books. Um, famous comedian, lesbian. Seems to bring up the lesbian part quite a bit. People thought she was going to be a host on Top Gear, and she received a lot of hate online for that. What? <laughs> oh, people are dumb, aren't they? What? It's the internet. She was a Roman Catholic. Um, she had a benign growth in her pituitary gland. That's okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia is nothing if not thorough. I can't find any PhD. What about degrees? Is she like, you know... But then again, degrees don't make you. you know, person. Born Susan Elizabeth Perkins. OBE. <laughs> Unlike you, Jake, who doesn't. Have no, I'm just an MD. Fuck you. That's why I'm allowed to touch you there. <laughs> oh, it's alright, I was fake. I was fake. Fake, <laughs> yeah. That's I can touch your knees. Oh, we got a donut now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Okay. We got a donation from my knee. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just gonna sleep in someone's bed because I'm sick of the phantoms coming and messing me up. The phantoms are messing you up when you're asleep. No, 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 no. They mess you up when you don't sleep. Oh. So, you know how, you know how, if you don't sleep in real life, the phantoms come for you. Yeah. To hallucinate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what they tried to do is they replicated it in Minecraft because they noticed people would go long periods without sleeping, which, like, can, I, I mean, it's not the most unrealistic aspect of Minecraft. I think being able to carry, like, a full inventory of obsidian blocks. 
That or the Ender Dragon, I don't know. One of the two. <laughs> the Ender Dragon. Or, you know, the Enderman. Or a Skeleton. Or a... Wait, what's unrealistic about Enderman? No! No! You... <laughs> oh, shit. I made it racist. Shit. Hmm? Uh, Gandhi, what? you can't call them Endermen. That's right. That is racist. Oh my God. If anyone ever saw this, uh... ah, you broke your knees. Fuck you. She did study English, but it doesn't say that she got a degree or anything. No, she might just have a bachelor's, which is still respectable. This is about the English comedian. For the Miss America of 1978, see Susan Perkins. No. 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 Don't wanna. I just wanna read about intelligence. Oh yeah, that just that thought just occurred to me. I have to actually have diamonds in order to use this. A thought occurred to you? Nice. I wonder what that's fist? like. You see this fist? Because I've never experienced it personally. You saved yourself there, Jerry. But tread thin, tread, tread carefully. Shit, screwed it up. Put your feet down gingerly, boy. Is that oh, what yeah. you're trying to say? I should have killed in the laugh. <laughs> I, I was about to say, am I functionally retarded? But no. Functionally? <laughs> Screw you. You can't function a fucking remote control. For your TV. TV remote is what a normal person would call it. Do you know what a normal person would do? I don't. Never been a normal person, no clue what they do. Can you help me out here? Oh yeah, totally. So, um, you know when your, when your voices start telling you stuff? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, a normal thing to do is to ignore them. But then they just get louder. Yeah. And then you start yelling, no, <laughs> no. And I don't like being yelled at. I shouldn't give bad advice like that, because it could actually harm. Um... No, but do you know what? There is there's this person that my psychologist keeps telling me about, um, Deborah Missing or something. She um Deborah Missing? No, no, no. It's, I think I've gotten you and him confused again. Um, so there's this woman that basically had voices, and she was locked in her house for like 14 years because of the voices, like telling her that if she went outside, people would die or she would die, or, you know, something like that. Standard voices stuff, yeah. Yeah, 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 standard voices. And, um, it, so she, it took her a while, but then, one day, just randomly, she just went, she did the thing, just to see what would happen. And, no, and, no, and obviously nothing happened. <laughs> that day was 9 or 11. Oh my god. But do you know what? That that's probably happened, right? That probably happened. Someone it has to absolutely has to have happened. Like someone's like, I'm not going to listen to my voices anymore. Did the thing, and then something happened. It, statistically, it has to have happened. Yeah. And I want to know who that person is so I can give them a hug, because that is so bad. It's like when my voices were telling me about the coronavirus, and then it actually turned up in New Zealand. <laughs> no, Gandhi, that was me. I was telling you about the coronavirus. No, 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 but then my voices picked it up and said it was coming, and then it came. Oh, yeah. Also, don't tell me about the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm not even allowed to look at the news right now. They're just like... No. But, but we're doing really well. Vaccinations have started. I know. But if anything goes wrong, uh, it's a bad time. Oh, yeah. Also, do you know what I found out? I mean, now, you probably already knew this because you 
know a lot about medicine and stuff, but um, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Um, but I was, so I was talking with my psychologist and I was like, you know, I just feel like sometimes the doctors don't listen to me. And he's like, okay. It's just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> 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 <That's such> a... <laughs> no, no. Um, so she, so he said, um, he said, okay, I'm going to let you on a little secret. Now, doctors are under an immense amount of pressure to get patients like out and cured fast yeah they've got like 15 minutes per person yeah and so you know for psychologists social workers and um nurses it's not really the same but for doctors it's like yeah that they have this in the back of their mind when they're treating you that you need to we need to go quickly which is unfortunate because that's not how a lot of healing works with, um, well, with, I, I can say from experience with my illness, it's not, it's not, um, it's not a quick process. Right. And it shouldn't be, because if you try to speed it up, often you'll make the person feel like they are, there is no hope, because what, the, what happens, right, is they'll say things like, oh, you mustn't be doing your exercises like your, um, mindfulness, and that's why you're not progressing, and it's like, well, I am doing them. And they're like, well, I don't know if you're doing them right then. Even though the expectation is too high on on things like mindfulness, because it can only do so much. It can't replace actual therapy. True. So many people end up feeling like, oh, so I'm just never going to get better. And apparently it's not the doctor's fault. It's to do with... How government, how the government and um, other 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 um, management types have, you know, put pressure on them to, because obviously there's a big pandemic in New Zealand with suicide, right? Uh, epidemic, sure. Epidemic. Yeah. So, you know, there's that pressure from the public saying well why is this happening and they're like well drugs man <laughs> i don't know jake why do you think people are killing themselves in new zealand um probably because i do too many drugs yeah yeah i do like three you do three drugs yeah, I injected a marijuana. Thanks for getting us back off that serious tone. Um, uh, yeah, sort of talked myself into a corner. Um, again. Ooh. Bat, go away. Show me your baps. Rained all night the day I left, where it was dry. The sun so hot, I froze to death. Susanna, don't you cry. Then what happened? Oh, oh <laughs> I'm not singing that next <laughs> verse. <laughs> it's actually, I, I don't know. See, I need to, I need to research this a bit more because I don't actually know if that's like what they, you know, you know what I mean. Because, is it just retelling events, or is it actually, like... This is probably not the place to do it, but... I kind of want to find out, is it just retelling events of, of his journey back? Because it's actually meant to be, like, a... I think a black person in the song actually going to find Susanna. You think it's, like, based on a true story? Well, I... I know Stephen Foster wrote it, but I don't... I think there's allegations that he didn't actually write it. So, like, whether or not it was just, like, a slave song that they used to sing. But I don't... Th did they call themselves that word? Is the thing I'm trying to figure out. They... Mm, yeah, I see the problem. Because if you, if you read the lyric that 
I'm not saying because of obvious reasons. Um, it's grammatically incorrect. So it probably was a person oh. from that group who said it. What? Yeah, 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 Too yeah. soon? Slave. Slave. Too yeah, something. A slave isn't, you know, educated because an educated slave would. Well, we saw what happens when you educate slaves. <laughs> they overthrow you. Because <laughs> knowledge is power. G.I. Joe. <laughs> the pen is mightier than a sword, the way I use it. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> do you do the Joker, the Joker pen trick? I'm gonna meet no, I stabbed guy. someone in the throat, just directly, I didn't... You didn't do, like, a whole thing where, like, you made... You said you were gonna do a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pen disappear! Hey, I'm a funny man! No, I didn't do that, I'm a funny man part. <laughs> you just stabbed a guy in the throat with a pin. So what? you didn't do the cool He was coming straight at me. <laughs> he was coming straight at me. He was running away, Jeff. Yeah, he was well At me. He was running away at me. <laughs> no, well, okay, so technically the earth is round, right? Since so... Jack, he was twelve. And running away at me. <laughs> So the Earth is round. So technically, mm -hmm. if he was running directly away from you, he was kind of running at you. I see. Which is my defense. I see. Is this? He was running at me the long way. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> right, Gandhi. I sprinkled some crack on his body. Yeah. Uh... Oh. <laughs> what? Alright, uh, well, I need one. One? Alright. Well, I didn't even finish last week's. Alright, I'm gonna play some, a little bit of competitive to get my. Schween up. Yeah. To get my Schween up. Um. I'll probably drop out of the call when I start there. Oh, and Trevor. I'll come. Trevor? What? Ah! Mini creepers! Creeper? Oh man! Side to side, side, side to side. I remember when you used to call me Creeper. Yeah, when I was younger. You know what tickles me? People with fingies. I hope this method still actually works. I don't. I haven't played this version of Minecraft in ages. <laughs> that and people confidently telling me the um, Pfizer vaccine will suppress genes. Oh and they got God. that information from the Pfizer website. No, you didn't. That's not on their website. Why would they announce that? <laughs> mm. <laughs> it, like, this is the thing, right? Is if if I'm no expert on evil companies, well, not anymore. Maybe in the 1800s I was, but not not anymore. Mm. Not anymore. Um, surely part of your diabolical plan wouldn't be, you know, posted on your website. And, like, you wouldn't leave clues in the website, like, trying to, like, you know? Yeah, they they have they have a saying which, by their symbols, they will fall. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Uh, basically, it, um, it's religious nonsense. Um, well, the Bible talks a lot about signs and symbols. Right. By their fruits you shall know them, and by their symbols they shall fall. Um, sort of thing, you know? Right. And so because a lot of this absolute nonsense is religious and basis, despite how many of them will tell you otherwise, you know, if someone tells you that the, you know, the COVID vaccine is going to be the mark of the beast, and then tell you that they're not religious, like... 
then what's the mark of the beast? Like, no. Um, oh, by the but way, so the bill is quite. We are not giving you medical advice. Right, go ahead. Yep. Okay. Um. So yeah, the the whole like, in order to you know win against mankind or the whatever nonsense it is, it's part of their belief system that they have to tell us that they're doing it. Right. Because the Bible says that you will know, you know, the, Satan when you see him. Yeah, the beast, yeah. Yeah. He will be marked. You, if you're a real believer, you will be able to recognize the Antichrist. He is the mark of the beast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And because this whole, the Pfizer vaccine has a tracking chip and all that stuff, because it all derived from that same religious background, um, they think that Pfizer, it's not even Pfizer who are doing it, it's BioNTech, but that doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> have to tell you. Right. Because so otherwise, and then they, search it, for the they wouldn't win. And then they search for the symbols. Is, is this what... Mm -hmm. So they, yeah, so... Okay, I see. So because they have a conclusion in their head, they then look for the, the thing confirming that conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basic, like, um, conspiracy theory stuff, right? Like, Yeah. Yeah. The stuff that I concoct in my sleep, yeah. But, so... Okay, so the mark of the beast is a thing. Then the mark of Cain is... What's that? It depends who you ask, if, um, but it's largely accepted to be that the mark of Cain is dark-skinned. Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> because Cain killed his brother, and to show that he was bad, God cursed him with dark skin. So that was the justification of slavery. And why the Mormons say that, um, yeah, if you're... If you're a black person, it's because you're evil. Oh. And this is... No, the justification for slavery is the parts in the Bible where it says... Slavery's okay. <laughs> take slaves from your neighbouring countries, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> if, they're not fr if they're people of the faith, you have to let them free. But <laughs> if they're not, they're yours forever. In fact, if you die, your children can inherit them. To Caesar, that is Caesar. I mean, we say it's it's not actually like a what do you call it? It's it's more people using text, isn't it? Because the text is man-made. It's not well. You know, I'm not gonna depends who you ask. Yeah, but let's be honest. Here. It's it's written by man. It's. It... <laughs> But by anonymous men, the names that we've attached to the Gospels are essentially random. Right, right. But the Gospel of Luke probably wasn't Luke. <laughs> Who's Luke? Yeah. <laughs> Luke Skywalker? <gasps> that would be awesome. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know, because... What, what I've been figure, trying to figure out is, is it religion, or is it... Because religion that isn't actually a thing. It, it's just a concept, right? Like, mm -hmm. It's just something we, as a, as a species, have made up to try to, you know... Explain. Explain things that we can't explain, which is fair enough, because that's how... Where does lightning come from? Um, we don't uh, know, religion. So, <laughs> we don't, yeah, we don't know, because we're ancient Greeks, or we're ancient uh, Romans, or Mesopotamians, or what, a Babylonian, whatever, a Chinese, whatever. Sumerian. Sumerian, yeah. We, we don't know wh what causes these natural occurrences, so let's, we need to have explanations so that we aren't, so we have some form of control over it, right? Like, like. It feels bad not to. Like, yeah. Like, when people are like, oh, let's pray after a flood, and someone's like, oh, well, didn't God send the flood? And it's like, yeah, but there's no way they can control nature. 
because nature is, no. for the time being, uncontrollable. Yeah, it's just to make you feel better. It's just to make you feel like... Yeah, it's just to make you feel like you have some form of control. Because we feel power, when we feel powerless, we feel scared, and we do things that aren't necessarily in our character, right? Like, that's why people during... Or best interest, yeah. Or best interest, yeah. That's why, why people in disasters start looting, or, like, start rioting, or stuff like that. You know, it's... It's <laughs> panic. Like, I'm sure if we... If we we let rational thought go through, we probably would be able to survive disasters without resorting to like, you know, a lot of things. Because we're, we're smart, I, you know. People are smart. I think, I I think even if you were just to be rational, I think after a national disaster, you'd probably loot. Yeah, yeah, okay. But like, if we were if we were rational and able to sort of control ourselves, we probably would actually be able to do a lot of things to weather the storms properly oh yeah we would form little communes and we would help each other um no. something called no <laughs> well no so something called mutual aid um right 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 yeah. we're where we essentially say... it's like we have to so we will combine our skills for the betterment of each other yeah. it is for in your be own better. interest to do so yeah we it would, is rational. We would come together, we would then, you know... Just while we need to. Just while we need to. The supermarkets can be, you know, they can have the insurance payout. We take the food from there, we ration it out, and we do all this stuff. <laughs> to so be pay- fair, power's out, the fridges aren't going to be working, it's so, just going to go to waste. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I didn't even think of that part. Yeah. <laughs> What's the... You know, people loot bread after hurricanes. It's going to go bad. <laughs> it's, it's bread. It notoriously goes stale after like two days. Steal it all. And also, what what use is it? It's going to be in the supermarket. Like, <laughs> who's going to buy it after... So the power's out. Who can? So no one has cash. Out. No, one, no one's working there at the moment. No it's closed. <laughs> the people working there are probably the ones stealing as well. So, like, and also the security cameras are out. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the guys with the keys need a bread. <laughs> What's going to happen? Sensible going, shit. Are we just going to let people starve? Because. And this actually comes back to that thing, doesn't it? <laughs> the answer is yes, unfortunately. <laughs> They prefer people to starve than to eat. And when you watch on the news, if the people trying to get f- food to live are black, then yes, they, they, according to the news, they should starve. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know... Because we live in a beautiful world where everyone's nice to each other. Is that another childhood song, Jack? No. Was that it's just before, a lie. Was that before you built the Tower of Babel? Oh yeah, so um just so people know, for future reference, Jag is old. Well not old, sorry. He's not actually old, but he was alive during the fall of the Berlin Wall. Which... Let's put it this way. When God said let there be a light, I said, Yeah alright then. <laughs> um, but basically, Jake was alive during the fall of the Berlin Wall, and one time he was really drunk. Now, this what? Is, this is a, this is a common, common theme of old Jag. Was he? He used to get drunk and then used to rant to me about things, and it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Back when I was single and lonely, whereas now I'm uh, in a long-term relationship and lonely. <laughs> oh my god! Oof. Oh, my bones! My old, old bones! <laughs> oh my god, Jack. I like how I started off trying to avoid controversy, and then we just walked straight into controversy. Started hey, you're the one that brought up Germany. Oh my god. Oh, I'm kidding. When's the last time Germany did something controversial? Oh yeah. COVID vaccine. 
BioNTech is a German company. Germany's making the COVID vaccine. Another reason why spastics don't trust it. There are people who don't trust it because it's German. I mean, oh, the Germans want to inject you with something. Better not take it. <laughs> yes, medicine. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite well known for their brilliance in that so in that field. It makes no sense. Don't trust a German shower. Don't trust Japanese with needles. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I like how Japan gets off scot-free, right? <laughs> That's always my favorite thing in the West, is is it's always like, oh, Germany did this, Germany did that. Yeah. Unit 731. Much worse than, um... Well, okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that. It, it, both were equal. Both were bad. Both were extremely horrible things to happen to human beings. Look, I, I can't say that it was worse than the Holocaust. I can't say that, because the Holocaust was... Just on a matter of scale, worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the Japanese and Germans both conducted human regions, so did the Allies to a degree. But on, you know. Well, that and the Unit 731 were forgiven. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that's the thing, right? So the Germans got thoroughly punished. They had their entire high command shot or hanged or imprisoned. They had, they had, they were split into four parts. They were, they had a wall built around a section of their country. They then, I know they did, I, I'm not going to lie and say that they didn't do terrible things, because they did. And I was, they, they were rightly punished, Nuremberg trial, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, they were stuff punished. happened, it should have. <laughs> but Japan, but Japan, <laughs> Japan got to keep its emperor. <laughs> Who stood idly by while the Japanese uh, army and government committed horrendous war crimes and horrendous human experiments on people? Is it standing idly by if he told them to do it? Sorry, I didn't know that part. I don't. Okay, yeah, no, he should have been shot. Uh, I mean, he he didn't he didn't oversee the experiments, but like the. The military was his. Isn't there contra no, but isn't that a contra isn't there controversy there where like he was I don't know if this is like propaganda that came out after the war to try to justify the reason we hadn't shot the Emperor and like his entire family. There's um, no way he was like innocent. ignorant. Yeah, there's no way he's innocent and shouldn't have been punished. But, you know they needed him to tell the Japanese people to stop resisting. Oh yeah, no, it was pragmatic to... Uh... Uh-oh. This, this guy just, like, smashed five headshots onto me. Like, if, if... If... So I suppose they wouldn't have had to do it if, um... If... If Japan was in the same situation Germany was in. Because Germany had pretty much been like already occupied, right? At that point, it was. I'll like, sit on Soviet, B and die there. The Soviets had captured Berlin. The Soviets had captured Vienna, like Prague, and a bunch of other places. And the West and the Allies had captured all of France, the Low Countries, and like we push and had captured the Ruhr and everything like that. And then. So then what was the point then after that? There was no way they were going to be able to survive. There was no way that the One out apparatus could resist any longer. The German army had been defeated. But the Japanese still had troops that were willing to die for some unknown reason. Um, Talking about the broken jewels. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm gonna play a little bit of a Counter Strike now because I'm in a thing. Alright. Cool. I'll just talk to myself. Alright, so now that Jag's gone, I can start discussing things that aren't racist. Um. Yeah. Ooh. K. 
cave, yellow cave crystal. Oh, it's solid. Okay. That's cool. This mod pack's amazing. Hats off to the developer. That's not good. Is that a letter? No. Okay. No. Uh, dig a little loaf of diamonds. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know. Like, I know there's probably a lot of... I, I don't want to call them weeaboos, but they are. They, they are obsessed with Japanese culture. And, you know, fair enough. The new Japanese culture can be quite, you know exciting for a lot of westerners and it you know it's a different world it's they're human but they're also so different and it's, that can fascinate a lot of people but like you, you they kind of got away with it i know people i know the nukes i know i know that's immediately what's said is the nukes <laughs> like the nukes have been compared to the firebombing which was already happening and the firebombing if you don't know is um basically the americans would blast japanese cities until like basically they would hit them with napalm almost i, I don't know if it was napalm but it was a napalm like substance that would then like incinerate a city because a lot of japanese homes i think were made out of wood like dresden when it was bombed um so they so obviously japan was already quite devastated by the time the atomic bombs were dropped but obviously they didn't want to have because well the americans were bluffing because they didn't actually have any more um atomic bombs in um that had been built they didn't have any atomic bombs they had uh i think they had can't remember. I think they, there were some on the way, but they wouldn't be ready for another couple of months. But, you know, the war was over. Like, if if it had come to it, the Americans would have landed in Japan and taken it. It would have been the most bloody part of... It probably would have been even more bloody than the Pacific War already. But it would, it would have been... Um, it would have been... Yeah, it just... The Japanese soldiers were tenacious. They refused to surrender. They would kill themselves before they would be captured. You know, things like that, just rather dying than being captured was something they instilled in their soldiers, which, uh, you know, was it's a terrible thing because, you know, human life is very precious. It's very, very precious, and it shouldn't be extinguished for such silly things as empire. But, you know, the Japanese at that time were, you know, they wanted an empire like everyone else. Because Japan, you know, there was obviously that thing where for a while, if you weren't a European nation, you weren't really a superpower. Because all the major superpowers that, well, not superpowers, sorry, uh, major power, all the ones that were anywhere else had been destroyed by the Europeans. That was the idea. It's like, And that's why, so like, uh, during the... Uh, uh, the Russo-Japanese War. Um, that's why Russia lost so much prestige, because they lost um, a conflict to an Asian country, which was seen as, like, you know, because the Asians were seen as inferior, as everyone who wasn't white was, including my people, the Polynesians. We were thoroughly conquered. 
Um, but yeah, so we... We, uh... I don't really know where I'm going with this. Anyway, back to Minecraft. Uh, oh, that's right, I was leaving because I was running out of food. Ah, oh, screw it, I'm just going to dig up. Ah, oh, there was lava back there, wasn't there? Let me find some lava. I need to, like, write down my tasks on my hand or something and just, like, remember when I'm going, um, mining. Oh, dear. Um, yeah. How long have we been streaming? Hour oh, 45. Damn. Is this the... No, this is not the... It's the... Um, but, you know, like, well, as Jake and I were saying, like, we don't obviously, you know, there's, there's no, like, I, I have no illusions of what Germany did was terrible. Like, there's no illusion there. There's no, you can't, there's no point arguing that. Because, it, it's just, it's just a fact. What they did was terrible. But, we also need to acknowledge that other components, uh, other people, parts of the people that were part of the war were not were who were also part of this thing part of this apparatus you know every you know i i don't i i think there was some stuff i read about uh there's also this sort of talk around italy because of their participation in the war and obviously the infamous side swap that sort of saved their well not really they were occupied by the germans but you know, who wasn't occupied by the Germans. Um, yeah. But back to Minecraft. Um, so what my plan is, right, is to make a... What do you call it? To make an atomic disassembler so I can start gathering better, like, resources better. Um, I need to get a solid food source because clearly... This is not a solid food source. Okay, that's not good. Um, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, um, I don't know how many, oh, I think we've only had two viewers, so, so it's okay. We're all, we all have to start somewhere, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good, uh, I, I enjoy, I enjoy Minecraft. I think Minecraft's a great, uh, game to relax to, because it's not that I, I, I personally don't like FPS or first person shooters because they are just, I, they require way too much like reflexes on my part. I've never been good at PvP, like in any game, except maybe strategy games that I have time to work on. Like I used to be quite good at Civ 5, um, decent at Civ 6. Um, Hearts of Iron, I never really got my head around, just because it kept getting updated every time I learnt the game, and I eventually just lost interest, so I, I wasn't able to keep up with the metas. Um, Europa Universalis, I've been meaning to play for like, maybe six or seven years. It's been in my 
game library for years and I still haven't done anything with it. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, there's, there's just some games that you never get around to playing. I should have like some sort of alert telling me that the chat has done that. I don't know. Is there... I guess this is where the, usually you'd feed off the audience. If you're alone. But there's no audience. So that's a problem. Um... Yeah, I think, I don't know, I don't know if I'll keep streaming, it's just a fun little game right now, but obviously people see it a lot differently, some people see it as a way of, you know, a way of, of their future, I, I personally, I don't know, I mean, if this is streaming, this is, uh well, I, I guess setting up everything and then also probably expanding is going to be difficult. My pick's going to break and I have no way of replacing it. Okay, so we need to build a crafting bench and a furnace. I don't know why I did that. And I just need to cook three iron. Oh yeah. Oh, eight oh six. Okay. So at about eight thirty New Zealand time, I'm going to stop streaming just because I have to get ready to go up to Mangathai, which is a uh, lovely little town in New Zealand. Um, well, I say little. It's it's growing pretty fast. It's. I I think when house prices when I first went up there with my auntie and uncle were um. Like, they got their house for, like, 300000 something like that. Which was a small batch, but, like, still, let's... Like, in Auckland, you can't get anything for that, like. Um, but, um, now, like, the house that we're trying to buy across from them is, like, worth a million? So, like, you know, it, it's, it's a it's a decent... Yeah, it's been a decent jump, which, you know, would be good for their... But they, they plan to retire up there, and it's, you know, it's going to be, I think it's a good place to retire, but I also think it's a good place to live, because it is better suited for people like me, who don't really need, um, well, a, a lot of modern conveniences are not good for you, but for me, I'm not saying for others modern conveniences like things like um uber eats are just terrible for me because i have s i have willpower but i don't have it with food it's just insane i eat if i get my hands like enough on if i get my hands on um like, I, I'll use, like, I'll, I'll save, like, I save quite a bit of money. Like, I've saved up nearly seven or eight grand just through just, you know, stuff like different random jobs or, like, birthday money or, or like, so now I'm on the benefit because of my disability, but, so I'm not able to work, but I've been able to save up quite a bit just to try to, you know, 
to, to have like a cushion to buffer my, uh, my expenses. But oh my god, the, the, the spending money is just all going into like Uber Eats. And I, I hope, I hope it doesn't show up over there because that would suck. But you know, I've got no. I'm not blaming. Like I wouldn't. I'm not blaming modern appliances and uh, modern conveniences for it. It's it's me. You know, it's m my inability to control myself when it comes to food. You know, we all have those. Oh, oh, that might end the stream early. But I, so also another thing that I might do, um, once, once we get a thing following, um, is I, I actually enjoy building Lego, so I may like end up doing like a Lego stream, um, once, but once we've moved into the new house, cause the new house is going to have better, uh, um, better space for me cause I'll be able to have like a little camera set up and things like that. <sighs> I also do writing, which is my main passion. I think gaming's more of a release. Ugh, right. I just want to get home, and then I think we'll sign off for tonight, for today. Um, but you know, it's been a lot of fun. I. Hope if anyone does see this, they enjoyed our Jagonize uh, banter. I hope um, we haven't offended too many of you. Um, we 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 are not. I I, I know it, it's like a thing. Uh, you're not racist, but we genu I'm genuinely not. Like we we gen Jag is probably. The nicest white person I know, <laughs> in terms of like race and things like that, because you know, especially I think it's maybe maybe this this is the case for a lot of people who are working class, who get like a you know when you're in the working class you get like a appreciation for like other cultures and other things because you work with them because they are. You know, most Indians and Asians, or sorry, Indians and East Asians are like in the in the um, jobs that you know pay quite lowly or don't pay enough. But you know, you get to learn their culture, you get to learn about them, you get to learn that they're not the stereo, they're not, they're just people, they're not the stereotypes that we've attributed to them. Which is which is good. You know, it's good to. It's good to have um, diversity in your. Actually, do I have a way of expanding like that? Okay, so I can't see a big map, which is unfortunate because I would have enjoyed being able to know where, which way I'm heading. Um, hopefully I'm heading in the right direction. I'm starting to think I'm not. I'm starting to think I've stumbled upon something I shouldn't have, but I'll just... Ah, oh, okay, so this is Piso's base, who's that lovely... Um, man that we were playing with yesterday. Um, right. Oh, this is a cool base. Uh, I'll have to build like a waypoint thing, I guess, at some point to declare Gandhi Labs. 
and its maiden voyage on the streaming platforms. Um, it's creepy. Um, yeah. Man. I do enjoy, I do enjoy, um, I do enjoy Minecraft. It's, it's a wonderful game. I get the feeling either over this mountain is the swamp village or it is a or it is the um actually can you okay i need to avoid those mobs because i have no way of healing or running can i teleport from there i hope so Oh, thank God, okay. Alright. Oh, man. What an adventure. We nearly died. We're coming back starving. You know, like, I should probably take some food from Cam's house. Um, yeah, but this has been a good two hour long stream. Um, to be fair, I think it's been quite eventful. Um, yeah, but we'll have to go down to the Hobbit Hole, get some pumpkin slices. Pumpkin slices. But uh, yeah, hopefully, it's not as chaotic as the last stream because I think when there are lots of people, I tend to be a bit chaotic because that's just who I am. Um, and I can't really help it, to be honest with you. It's, if, you know, I don't know. It's just the thing I do. When there are a lot of people, I tend to do crazy things. Um, uh, what is interesting though is um, just you know, looking at all the different ways this could have gone. Um, right. Okay, so they do have the. Uh, yeah. um, Basically, once you have steel, uh, once you have steel, you have unlimited steel, pretty much. But until you get steel, you're screwed because everything, like the best, the best machinery requires steel. So much good stuff requires steel, like the wind turbines, which are my favorite form of power i don't know if they're still the best because it's been a very long time since i've played modern minecraft properly um i don't know if they're still the best but when i but it's the ones that i don't that don't require uh resources and since i don't have a way of having infinite resources yet quite uh, dangerous so actually I think yeah I think that's good I think we uh, we've done quite a lot today we've progressed quite a bit 
Um, just put all my stuff in there, just in case anyone wants something. Um, Slices. Where do we go? No, we don't. Okay. Well, that that's something future gardening can solve. Um, thank you. Well, thank you, two people, for watching. Thank you for anyone who is currently watching this in the future.